During the Renaissance, Martin van Heemskerk, the first artist to draw the seven ancient wonders, depicted it astride the harbor. Impossible. But as people tell the story over and over again, the statue gets bigger and bigger until a ship can sail beneath it. When a statue is standing on two legs, and it's a naked statue, as this would have been in the uh, tradition of producing statues of gods and of heroes, it's the, the legs have to be close together to give it the support that it needs. But the idea of the Colossus straddling the harbor still remains popular. Engineer Gavin Davis assesses the likelihood of this. If the legs were together on the sculpture, it would be a lot more stable because the weight of the, of the upper half of the body is carried vertically down through the, through the legs. And then provided the foundations are strong enough, then you should have a relatively stable structure. If the Colossus had stood with the legs apart, it would have been considerably weakened. The key area that's concerned in the Colossus is how the, the, the weight load is carried down the two legs when they're quite wide apart. Once you do start getting any wind loading on this kind of structure, then there are obviously weak areas around the two ankles, for example, would be an obvious area of concern. Over 2,000 years after the Colossus, Auguste Bartholdi designed the Statue of Liberty. He employed the greatest engineer of the day, the Frenchman, Alexandre Eiffel. Avoiding the mistakes of the Colossus, Eiffel introduced revolutionary technology to ensure the liberty would stand forever. The Statue of Liberty was an engineering innovation. Eiffel designed an iron framework to form a backbone 